More than a month have passed, and now we can say for sure, Workshop 2.0 was a smashing success. Pilots produce almost 2 billion of components daily, and these numbers only keep growing. However, we believe we shouldn't stop there, as Workshop is that big of a deal, it should look, feel and operate without a hitch. So in one of the upcoming updates, we will teach Workshop some neat new tricks. <laughs> Some items in Workshop are made faster and some slower. If you produce different items, managing timings can get cumbersome. To give you better control over your Workshop, we normalize component packs by their production time instead of pack size. Once you unlock an item in the Workshop, you can produce packs of all sizes. This changes how you operate Workshop. You can be sure that when you come back, you'll have everything ready by the same moment. And the return of scale rule applies here as well. Ordering bigger packs remains more efficient both time and cost-wise. By now you've probably noticed that the workshop interface was completely remade. We expect it to give you a smoother, cleaner experience, but in the end you will be the judge. Send us your feedback! <laughs> There is currently just one way to dispose of components you don't need – sell them for some amount of silver. Knowing this, we wanted to give you a better use for them. Hence, we introduced the components conversion. The idea is simple. Got a stockpile of storm components? Convert them. Don't need your mender components and need blitz? Convert this baby. Black market keeps bringing you with bulwark pieces, but you want, say, falcon? You know what to do. On the workshop menu, a tiny button in the corner will appear. It will lead you to the conversion screen. Once there, you can select initial components, final components, and the amount of initial components you want to convert. Check the cost and the end result. OK with that? If yes, start the production and come back later. There are two things to note. First, you can only convert between components of the same type. Robots into robots, weapons into weapons. Second, you can convert any amount of initial components from zero to infinity. However, there is a minimum price for each conversion, so processing bigger batches is usually much more preferable. That's it for now. If you missed what Workshop 2.0 was all about, check our overview. Link in description. And of course, don't forget to watch the overview of our latest suppression robots. They're pretty amazing. I mean, they really are. I suppress you, you want to click this video. These are the robots you are looking for. Come on. Click it while it's hot.